guys, I'm Michelle Wright with the CalWhispersCreativeCards.com and I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator. Eek! Do you not love it? It's a little schnauzer baby. Those are the dogs I've had all my life and I love the little schnauzer babies. We're using the brand new Pampered Pets Bundle. Mmm! It's so stinking cute. With, uh, and it comes with the pets die, so we're going to be using this dog. And I'm going to be using this little element here of the little paw. So I'll show you how I did that. And we're also using the uh, Pets Designer Series paper. So cute. So let's just jump in and get started, shall we? I will tell you that, as always, in the top of the eye and below in the description, you're going to find links back to my blog post with all the measurements. And the supply link. So you can click right on it to grab your own. Card base is real red. And then I've got a piece of Whisper White on the inside. And I just put the little doggy bowl in there. So we'll do that here. I've got a bunch of my elements cut out. And I use the new, well, it's actually not new, but the brick and mortar 3D embossing folder for my background. Love that. So I'll have that listed as well. What do we need to do here? We need to grab our oval and this is thick whisper white no this is regular whisper white i'm sorry because i used my layering ovals this is the set you get them both the scalloped and the plain when i cut them out i used the second to the largest on the plain and the largest on the scallop for my basic black so because i'm just going to stamp is that thick I just went with the dog bowl for that and my sentiment. And let me show you what I did with my sentiment. So let's bring in our memento. I hope your day is a real treat. Isn't that adorable? So I've got to pull this to me. I just have to. So bear with me here. Want to get it good and lined up. And then I'm just trying to get it to where the bottom line all fits on the page. Just like such. And I did pretty good. And then from there, I can go ahead and stamp my dog bowl. Love it that it has a little paw print. So I'm just going to go up and over. And while I'm at it, I might as well get my dog bowl stamped here. Get it straight. Alrighty. And then I've got thick, yes, thick Whisper White for my little schnauzer baby. Because I'm going to do some major blends work on my pup. So I wanted to make sure I don't have a lot of bleeding. There we go. So we've got that done. So we can put this aside for now. And we're going to do a little bit of blends work. Let's go ahead and knock these elements out real quick. And so I'm going to tell you I'm using gray granite, light and dark. So for the light, I'm going to color just the rims of my bowls. And this is so fast, you guys. Just color it and you can go right over the paw print. While I have it out, I'm going to go ahead and do them both. And if you go on the inside, that's okay because we're going to come back with the dark right over the top. And I'm just using a very, very light pressure. Now I've got the dark. We're going to do the center because it's always darker when you look inside a bowl. And then I've got my dark mossy meadow like it's sitting in the grass. So let's go ahead and do that. And I'm just going to go ahead and put some all the way across. So it's not just floating in nowhere land. And we'll do the same thing here. You don't have to go, you know, all the way to the edge this way. But this way, it just lets you know it's just sitting on some grass. 
just like that. Okay, now let's do some coloring. I've got my light a flirty flamingo, and right off the bat, I wanna just do a little bit in right here for its ear, okay? I've got my light basic black for its nose. Right like that. Because I'm using real red, I'm gonna use my real red, and I'm gonna use the fine point for this for his collar, just cause it's such a small area. You see how it doesn't bleed when you're doing that? That's what's really nice. And then we're gonna do the darks first. So let's do some dark areas. Let's do the top of his ear, okay, right here. And you can look at the designer series paper and it, has a schnauzer colored on there, but schnauzers are all different. You know, there's party schnauzers, they're black and white. There's black schnauzers. There's gray. I have a black schnauzer now. I've had multiple black schnauzers, and I've also had multiple gray schnauzers. I love them. I love them to pieces. So now we're going to go with the light. Stay away from this part of its eye, because you, you can tell that that's its eye, and you want to just be careful around that, just like this. See how I went around that? And then we're just gonna color the rest in. Very light touch. Make sure you get those whiskers and their mustaches, that's what I call them. That's kind of the schnauzer trait. And then we're gonna use the dies to cut this adorable pup out. I'm just kind of going back and forth there. And I wanna put some of my mossy meadow under him too. I'm assuming it's a him. It could be a little her baby girl with the red collar. Pivot. Let the blends do the work for you. All right. How simple was that? Let's get that mossy meadow and just put some grass under him. So then when we set him down, even though we're going to die cut a lot of this off, it still makes it all make a sense. All right. So now I've got my blends work done. Let's bring in our dye of our puppy. We're gonna cut that. I've got a strip of real red. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the little paws and I'm going to place it here, run it through the dye machine, place it here and run it through the dye machine because I want this strip to have the little paw prints cut out. So let me do that and I will be right back. Alrighty, I am back. So, when you use that, this die, it's gonna leave, depending on how tight your die cutting machine is, it's gonna leave an impression. And what you can do is just take a piece of scrap paper and your bone folder and just push it across. That'll help flatten all of it back out and flip it over and do the same thing on the back side, and that will help. You'll still see a little bit of it, but it's very, very minute once you do that. It's not near as deep as it was. So we're to the point now where we can actually start assembling this pretty little card. So let's take the adorable designer series paper. And this is cut to go all the way across the bottom of this, all right? So you can, except we don't need that dog hair. <laughs> oh, that cracks me up. My dogs wanted to get in on the pick, on the, on the game. They said, hey, why not? So we've got that. Now I'm going to use, and I'm using my seal. Loving the seal. Just randomly putting some pieces. And you can see I'm just putting a little bit of pressure and just 
barely, barely, barely ticking it off. And then I'm just going to line that up like such. Your seal you want to hold a little flatter than what you did with your fast fuse and you will have good results. So let's put that on here. Just like that. We're going to go ahead and place our layers together. That looks great. See, you thought this adorable card was going to be complicated, and it is so simple. Let's line that up. It's kind of in the middle is what I'm going for. All right, let's put our inside layer in with our little dog bow. I love this whole suite of items. You know I like my blacks and my reds. Let's pop our pup up. Got some dimensionals here. Of course, you guys know me. I've got some edges left. We don't waste our edges. We just nip them down and use them up. They work just the same. So, and then he's, see how he's standing on the grass? He's just a happy little fellow. Yes, he is. And then last but not least, we're gonna use our playful pets combo of uh, ribbon. So all I did was I just pulled off equal amounts. Oh, probably about eight inches or so. Nipped them off. Do you not love the red stripe with the black and white striped? So just at the same time, pull them up, tie yourself a ribbon, or tie yourself a ribbon, tie yourself a bow, Give it a little pull, then work with getting it the, the width that you want it. It's all about getting it pulled and put together first, and then you can go back and tweak. Tweaking can come when you're done. I love this combination though. Okay, so I'm gonna pull my tails down, just like that. There we go. This side, maybe just a little more. Okay, so once I've done that, I can grab myself a glue dot, and this is where this comes in really handy. See, I've pulled those tails down. Now, when I take my glue dot and I stick it on here, it's keeping that tail down to where I want it. Okay, so then it will stay. Where you want it and I think I think I'm gonna give them just a tiny little bit of a haircut not much just a little bit do whatever tickles your fancy how stinking cute are these cards I hope your day's a real treat love it love it love it Use the Pampered Pets Bundle, which includes the stamp set and the Pets Dies. And I used the Designer Series paper as well. I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe to my channel and click that bell so you're notified every time I post a new video. If you live in the United States and you're looking for an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator, I would love to be your gal and sure appreciate your business. As always, I've listed two more videos at the end of this one that I think you may enjoy. I hope you have a wonderful day and happy crafting.